Hi guys, I'm Cassie and welcome back to my channel. Before you leave today, do not forget to subscribe down below and like this video to show me that you liked it and also you can comment down below because I reply to all my comments. It would mean so much to me. I'm really trying to grow my channel and I'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of the summer which is September 22nd and I would literally be mind blown if I could hit that goal. So if you want to help me and support me, that would be so much appreciated. Is that even a freaking word? I don't know. So, I tried intermittent fasting for 30 days and this video is just going to be about my whole entire journey and how I liked it and what happened and what my results were and all that fun stuff. So, if you wanted to learn about it and see if it would work for you, you clicked on the right video. I will explain more of why I did it and everything like that at the end. So, don't forget to stick around till the end to see that. But without further ado, I'm going to stop talking. Let's just get into the video. Okay, before we get started, if you don't know what intermittent fasting Fasting is, it's basically just a style of eating in which you set a time limit on when you can eat. For example, I am doing what is called the 16-8 method. This means I eat for 8 hours and fast for 16. There are tons of different methods like 24 and alternate day fasting. Can stop my fingers as they type out. Good morning, everybody. It is day one of my intermittent fasting for a month journey thingy. I decided that I was going to start this last night because I just heard some girl talking about it and I'm like, I'm gonna do that now. And then I decided to stay up till 12 o'clock researching like the benefits of it. So I looked up the advantages and disadvantages and there's a lot of good advantages to it. Some evidence-based benefits of intermittent fasting include changes in the function of your cells, genes, and hormones. It increases the human growth hormone which helps burn fat and gain muscle. It also helps your cells repair and remove waste. There are also studies showing it could relate to longevity and protection against disease. Intermittent fasting helps you burn fat by raising your metabolic rate by 4 to 14 percent, reduces insulin resistance which can lower your risk of type 2 diabetes, reduces stress and inflammation in the body, and last improves brain health and helps you to stay focused. Nobody knows any of the, the disadvantages because nobody has been doing it long enough but um, I don't really care because we don't know the results of a lot of different things and a lot of foods and a lot of eating styles and diets. So either way, we're kind of at a loss though. So, the reason why I'm trying it is because I'm just curious, to be honest. I'm just curious to see like how I feel, what it does, if I lose weight, stuff like that. I've tried intermittent fasting like twice, but I always end up just quitting because I don't like it. The reason that I think it's gonna be different this time is because first of all, I'm doing a challenge. So I always do my challenges all the way through because I'm beast. And second of all, I got this new thing called clear braces. So every time I eat something, I have to take my teeth out. I mean, the braces out and then clean them. So I'm not even wanting to eat that much. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do 16, eight. So fasting for 16 hours, eating for eight. So I'm gonna start it at 10 and stop eating at six. Also, I'm not going to be changing my eating patterns at all. With that being said, I am like plant-based, so I don't eat any meats except for fish, and I don't eat eggs because I don't like them. And I eat cheese once in a while. So that's basically my diet. I hope I covered everything, and if I didn't, I'll probably talk about some other stuff later, but I'm gonna go make breakfast. We haven't gone grocery shopping in a while, so I think I'm just gonna make waffles because I want waffles right now really bad. Well. So yeah. I just wanna say all you up. Oh, I just gotta know, yeah, if you're coming over. I'll eat this and I'll see you guys when I eat next probably. My hands were like shaking because I was so hungry, but it's not my fault because any normal person would have like eaten a snack while I was making it, but I didn't want to take out my Invisalign, so that was the problem. And that's why I was so hungry. But anyways, I'm good now. Hello, everybody. Sorry about what I look like. And also, sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. It's too hot to turn it off. So I was kind of panicking, and I'm still panicking, because I got home, me and my sister went on a drive, and I got home around like four, and then I realized that I needed to do a workout because it was the perfect time after, because I'm still fueled for my lunch. 
and then I have to eat afterwards because I have dinner. So I did a 45 minute HIIT workout, which kind of turned into an hour because whatever. But then I was like panicking because I didn't have any food and I kind of forgot. So I called my mom and I was like, um, mom, I literally need food right now or else I'm going to die. And then we ordered DoorDash because we thought it was going to be quick and then it's going to be like, so it's 6, 12 now. So it's kind of um, bad. But also then I remembered that I started eating at 1030. If I wait till 630. So 16 hour fast as long as I and it's okay. It's like 30 minutes It's not like your body's gonna be like oh my gosh, you're 30 minutes late So you can't have the same results like it's 30 minutes. I got there's white rice in here Which I just realized I had rice twice today, but it's fine. This is white basmati rice It's not the best for you, but then we have some salmon if you can see and then non bread and hummus So we got our fat from the hum actually i don't think i think this is like i feel like hummus is fat but it comes from chickpeas so that's a bean which is a carb i don't know i'm guess i think this is a fat also we have omega-3 fatty acids in the salmon so we got our fats covered we got our carbs a lot of carbs we got our protein we just don't have vegetables but so i'm gonna eat this now that's gonna be it for today i'll update you if i'm super hungry tonight or see how i'm feeling but yeah i'm gonna eat this really quickly and then we'll see so it's currently 10 o'clock and i haven't been hungry like up until now and now i'm really hungry and i really want to eat and usually i definitely probably would i can't right i'm in a bad sink can't do that Ugh, everything that i think is food i'm just gonna think about I'm just going to think about Harry Styles. I'm just going to think about him for a long time until I stop thinking at all. Watermelon and sugar. Oh, now I'm thinking about watermelon. Body on my mind. I'm starving and I'm about to eat this. Um, I have two rice cakes with peanut butter and just one patty vegan sausage thing so we have our carbs fats and protein usually when i when i do rice cakes with peanut butter i can only eat like one and a half and i ate both of them plus a sausage which was like nine grams of protein so i'm gonna be full for a good few hours now it's 9 45 I mean, I'm a little bit hungry if I think about it, but like if I'm just keeping busy or if I'm about to go to sleep, I'm not hungry. I think I'm just bored, so I wanna eat because I'm bored. <sighs> but uh, something that I've realized the past two days is for some reason, this is making me feel really good. Like in the insides, <laughs> I don't know. Just like every time I'm full or like I've eaten, I just feel like so satisfied and good. Like I've never felt that way from food before. I don't know if it's just because I'm putting good food to my body, but I usually put good healthy foods in my body. Like I have been for a while. I think it's because I'm like, not that I'm grateful, more grateful for the food, but it's like, yes, you're finally full. Like you find broken your fast or something i don't even know like just through for that whole eight hours i just feel so amazing Gotta know, yeah, if you're coming over. i was just bored so i weighed myself and i forgot to mention that i did weigh myself at the beginning of this just because i'm not gonna like give you really um how much i weigh because that's just weird i weighed myself the first day i started this and i just weighed myself so it's day three and it's 12 o'clock right now by the way i already ate breakfast at 10 so so far i've lost 0.4 pounds which is really good because if you're in the correct amount of a caloric deficit you should be losing about a pound per week it doesn't seem like a lot but it's only the beginning of day three i don't know i think that this is really gonna work and nothing nothing has worked for me i just wanted to update you guys on something before i forget to tell you so basically today something came up that was kind of bad so i had to eat after six and i finished eating around 7 30 which means that tomorrow I'm just gonna fast until 11.30. I honestly might just keep doing that because I feel like I'd rather eat a little bit later. So I'll probably do 7.30 to 11.30. But I just wanted to let you know because I fail. I didn't fail because I'm still fasting for 16 hours, but like something in my life got in the way. So we are adjusting. So that's all I needed to tell you. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Got me second guessing what I want. Hello everybody, um, so I just wanted to first say, 
that I'm sorry for what I've been looking like in this video because it's been really bad. Like, I don't even care anymore about what I look like on camera. Like, I don't care. I feel like I'm doing really bad on updating this video, but that's okay because it kind of goes repetitive and it's not really the same thing. I mean, it is the same thing. I just wanted to let you guys know something. So I wasn't gonna weigh myself today because I ate really bad yesterday, but then I was like, okay, I just will. I'm two pounds down. All I know is that this thing is freaking working and I'm not mad about it. Complicated, I'm down to chill and see how this thing goes. Okay, hello everybody. My update on my intermittent fasting is it is going well, even though my mom kind of doesn't like that I'm doing it, right? Mom, well, it's a pain in the butt when you're on vacation. My lips literally look like so red. I've still been doing it. We've been on vacation for two days and we're doing fine. It's more the dinner part that's hard because sometimes I eat at three o'clock because I'm not hungry till three and then not hungry until like seven or 7.30, so then I can't eat till 11.30, like that's what happened this morning. So yeah, I, it's currently 5.43, and we just got Thai food, or I got Thai, so I got Pad Thai with shrimp, and I'm trying it for the first time, and I got a Thai tea, because I love Thai tea. I'll update you later, but if I'm failing or something, but I'm probably not gonna fail, because I'm actually really good at this. Good morning guys, it is the last day of intermittent fasting. How did this already happen? How are we already here? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm gonna do a piece of avocado toast and some oatmeal because I have been like, no, we don't have any bread left. No, I need to use up my avocados. I don't have anything else, any type of salty thing, so we're just gonna have to do oatmeal. <sighs> Fine. Got a girl addicted, got me second guessing what I want. Got me reaching for my phone, yeah, when the lights are obsessing if I'm running through your window. Cause you're doing cardio around me. Can stop my fingers as they type out all you are. Okay, it is the end of the video. The 30 days are up. I have completed my intermittent fasting journey. I wanted to talk about a couple things. Yes, at least for me and at least for my situation, especially in quarantine when we're not really doing anything and we have all the time in the world, it was very easy for me to intermittent fast and I even went on a little road trip for about a week, which it's very hard to do any type of dieting or diet. It's not a freaking diet, but like, you know what I mean? And I still was able to stick with it. The only thing was it was a little bit inconvenient for my family and they kind of got a little bit mad at me, just a little bit. I wasn't about to give up on my video. I wasn't about to fail. <laughs> not me. Wrong, bitch. One thing that was kind of also annoying, the second thing that was annoying, was that everyone I watched that did it said that after a couple weeks, it got a lot easier and you weren't hungry at all. And I can tell you that for me at least, that was not true. It could have been my fault. I might not have been eating enough calories for myself, but I would be very, a little bit hungry right before I went to bed and very hungry when I woke up in the morning up until I ate. So I would always have to distract myself and I was a little bit hangry. Other than that, it was amazing. During during the whole thing i felt so great because right when you eat i heard someone describe it as like a euphoria and that's exactly what it is you feel just like on top of the world you feel like you could accomplish anything your body's just like oh my gosh finally i've gotten food like i feel amazing that's kind of how i felt through the whole thing i think you probably could have seen that throughout the video and i talked about it a little bit but that's how i felt really really loved it actually um Some of the benefits that I have heard from intermittent fasting, the two that really stuck out to me, I know there's a bunch more, but the two that really stuck out for me were inflammatory purposes or whatever, uninflammatory, I don't know what the word is. It's just really good for your digestive system because your digestive system is constantly working and when you go to bed and you, you're fasting while you're asleep, it's not enough time for your digestive system to fully cleanse itself and get rid of all the food that you were eating. So allowing your digestive system 16 hours to fast 
is so good for bloating and I can definitely say that it did help with my bloating. It didn't 100% get rid of it, but I can say it definitely did go down. And the second thing that really stood out to me was how it burns fat because everyone says that the reason intermittent fasting burns fat is because ultimately you are consuming less calories because you are giving yourself a smaller amount of time to eat. So you are ultimately probably in a caloric deficit. Also, another reason is because I heard this guy saying something. I don't know if everything that I'm going to be saying is correct so don't listen to me because I'm not a scientist and I'm not a professional at anything this is just what I heard from the internet what I heard was that after a certain amount of time usually about 6 to 12 hours after you stop eating it depends on the person but um, usually you want to stick with the 12 hours just to be safe because you will never know when that time is for your body but somewhere around those time frames your body is completely out of glycogen or something like that or your glucose I don't remember what it was something with your the sugar your insulin insulin levels they go down and once they're down your body starts taking directly from the fat on your body instead of taking from the sugar if after that 12 hours your body is di taking directly from your fat that means that for four hours your body is eating nothing but fat so even if you weren't in a caloric deficit which you probably will be anyways i'm pretty sure i don't count on me for this one but i'm pretty sure you would still be losing some fat just because of that I'm not doing this and I'm not trying to lose weight and lose fat to be skinny because I really don't care at the end of the day. I really don't care. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I was about to lie, but I'm not going to lie. I don't like my body and at the end of the day, I really want to be able to say that I don't care what my body looks like as long as I'm healthy and strong, but at the moment where I am right now, that's not true, and in my brain, I think, oh, I, I'm doing all this stuff just because I want to live a healthy lifestyle and it makes me happy, and I just enjoy doing it, and I truly do, but sometimes in the back of my mind, I kind of always have that little voicing, you're fat. You don't look like any of these girls on Instagram or on Snapchat or on TikTok. Sometimes I just don't feel comfortable in my body and I don't feel like it is good and like good enough. And that's something that I've really been trying to work on. One, not comparing myself to others. Two, trying to be confident in myself and know that every single body type is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it and you don't need to change it. And it's very, very difficult and it's very hard for me and I'm 100% sure it's hard for you too. And that's okay because we can work through it together and we can get through this and we can live our healthy lifestyles and just be happy with living our healthy lifestyles instead of worrying about what we look like so much. That's that's what I'm striving to be. <laughs> that kind of went off track a little bit. Really, at the end of the day, I know the way you look, the way your face looks, the way your body looks does not matter. It's hard to realize that sometimes, but at the end of the day, for me, I really just want a healthy body that I can be confident in and love myself in and all of that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and say that I do these challenges and I work out and I eat like this and I tried intermittent fasting because I just want to become the best version of myself. I want to tone up my body a little bit and you can't tone up your body without losing fat. I mean, you can tone up your body without losing fat, but you're not going to be able to see it. You can't see your muscles unless you get rid of the fat that's on top of them so that they can show. Kind of went all over the place, but I hope it helped some people. I really, really hope that it did. If you're coming over, and last, for the results that you have all been waiting for, I'm going to show you before and after pictures, and this time, I really did not look at them. Like, I literally have not even taken the after picture yet, so I don't know if there is a difference. And I'm not going to say that I don't see a difference, because in every single one of my challenge videos, I always say, I don't see that much of a difference, maybe a little bit here. And then I go back and I edit it, and I'm like, holy shit, that was a big difference. So yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I'll put up the pictures now. You let me know down in the comments below if there was a difference or not 
I did measure my weight because that was kind of something that I wanted to know. For me personally, I don't really get affected that much by scales and weight. I know a lot of people do, so if you do, do not step on a scale. It is not worth it. For me, I just did it because I wanted to take data. I know that there's components that go into it, such as like your water weight, you're on that time of the month. It's, it's like this for us ladies. It's like that with our weight. My weight during this whole thing, I would check it like every other day, which I know that's kind of excessive, but I just kind of was curious to know, is this working or what? I'm not going to give you my exact weight because first of all, I don't feel comfortable with that. And I also don't want anyone to compare themselves to me. I also could have gained some muscle during this month. So I don't know how accurate my fat loss was, but overall I lost four pounds. I'm not even kidding, which is just perfect effect for me because I'm not in a place to be losing more than that. A healthy amount to drop weight per week is one pound to half a pound per week for me. And again, I don't know if the muscle could have affected that because I could have lost a lot more weight in fat, but since I was growing muscle at the same time, my, my muscle that I gained was making the scale higher just because it was um, heavier than the fat that I lost, if that makes sense. Absolutely yes. I am definitely going to continue intermittent fasting. I'm not going to be as strict as I was. For example, if I go on vacation, I'm not going to force myself and be an inconvenience to my friends or my family. Sometimes it's not worth it and you just gotta live a little girl. You gotta live a little. That is about everything that you need to know about my intermittent fasting journey. Um, I hope this was very helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys all again in my next video.